Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. Well, we just arrived at our latest campsite and I thought I'd give you a, a look how I've been laying the bed out in the truck lately. So I'm carrying a lot of stuff now. You know, over the years I've acquired quite a bit and uh, I have to maximize the use of my truck. So we'll take a look at what I, what I store in the bed and how I have it laid out. And in a future video, I'll give you a look at the whole rig and give you what kind of weights I have on all the axles and where I store all my stuff, all my goodies. Anyway, this is just about the truck bed. Now I made sure to get another eight foot bed. I really liked the eight foot bed in our last truck. So it gives me the advantage to store a lot of stuff being full time. We're carting a lot of things around with us. So up front here, we have two toolboxes. One right here I've had for a long time. Now this one is bolted right to the truck bed. And I'll give you a look later, see, show you what's in there. And then in front of it is a plastic toolbox. It's actually not bolted, but it has a fair amount of weight in it. It's a generator and a bunch of other stuff. And then on top is my solar panel. This solar panel can be removed and used as a ground panel, or I can actually hook it up while we're driving and it can bring in energy. Down in here, we have a gas can. This is um, where I keep my chalks and also there's a heavy chain in the bottom and it keeps it in place. And you can see I just have enough room between the, the pin box and this box. That's why I've kind of left it so it can move a little bit because uh, usually once it's pushed against here, I can't open this until I wiggle it a little bit forward. So I'm, Kind of a tight clearance there, especially with that shock. See where it's nibbled a bit at the solar panel over the years, but hasn't broken it. <laughs> and then I also have a ladder. Um, I'm gonna show you the hookups before I unhook it and I'll give you a closer look. But over there is where my uh, seven pin cable goes into the side of the truck. And then that red and black cable is going into my uh, DC, DC, DC to DC charger. And then of course we've got our uh, our brake uh, emergency brake cable so the dc to dc charger came in handy today because there was no sun in the desert so batteries got fully charged just driving here with that anyway let's unhook it we'll give you a closer look Okay, so let's give you a look at everything. Everything stays down low enough that it doesn't interfere at all when I'm cornering. Uh, my ladder folds up and I strap it down here using the, the rings on each side with a ratchet strap. <clears throat> then all my mats kind of stay underneath the ladder so they don't fly around. I have this bin over here that I've put a hole through and uh, goes to the other uh, ring over here. So that keeps that and the ladder kind of all very stationary in there. They're not gonna fly out or fall forward and interfere with anything. In the bin, I have some window washer and a five gallon jug of water, which I also have strapped down. That stays in place pretty good, even on rough roads. So let me just get up here. Up here, this is one of my uh, blocks for stabilizer jacks and then this is my old old grill barbecue so I've decided to carry it in the truck when I'm down south and it's you know pretty dry weather um, in wet weather I'll just put a garbage bag around it and if we're in bear country then I'll either put it in the bear locker or in the cab of the truck but it's an okay spot for it. it stays against there it's kind of an old barbecue but still works well 
These are for leveling the trailer. A couple of boards, the planks I can go up on if I need to level the trailer out. Over here we have the propane tank for my uh, fire. That in there I have it uh, strapped in. And I put a couple uh, eye bolts into this box and then I put a rubber strap that keeps it from moving around any. Over in the back, back here I carry some water and my other leveling block. And also I got like an emergency triangle down there that's easy to get at. My trailer spare tire is also attached to one of the bed rings with a with a strap. Keeps it easy to access and then I don't need to have the, the weight in the trailer. My goal is to remove as much weight from the trailer as possible because I have a one ton truck. So it has quite a, quite a lot of payload, I think about 4,000 pounds. So I can put a lot of stuff in the bed. And in here I have my macerator, I have hydraulic jacks, um, I have a jack stand. Underneath here I have some tools, uh, torque wrench, more tools. Underneath there there's some a Sawzall and a, another multi-tool. A lot of my heavier tools are in here. This cable is to hook up the solar panel to the rig. And in there there's a few odds and ends. And then I have my generator gas strapped down and that actually this plastic bin is, is bolted to that as well. So try to get as few things uh, moving around as I can. And we'll open this box and let you see what's in it. Oh, and before I show you that, I have a big heavy chain that goes around my, uh, my hitch here and actually goes up along that box as well. But it's basically just to, to kind of make make stupid people not want to steal anything. A professional thief would laugh at that because you, you can actually open the box from the other side or whatever. But uh, also if someone was in here that chain would make a kind of a, a bunch of noise to wake me up or alert me. Just something to dissuade people. It looks intimidating. And this lid can lift and it balances nicely on the other lid. So we have some extra soup just in case emergency rations. I got my Viair pump for uh, pumping the tires. I have a, uh, a uh, one, one, three, 1000 watt inverter, actually a cheap one. I got a, a solar panel there and then the generator, all my power cords. And then under here I have a bunch of uh, blankets and stuff like that. So that keeps the generator in a nice place. Oh, there you go. That's my latest incarnation of the way I lay out the, the bed in there for storage. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to come back and show you how I uh, secure the cargo inside the crew cab. I have quite a bit of stuff that fits into the crew cab of the truck. And also in the front and pass-through storage of the, of the RV. I'll show you where I stow everything. And also give you a, a list of my axle weights. I've measured at a few different weigh stations on the way down. And uh, we are under, but uh, just barely on the, the truck's uh, rear axle. The other axles have pretty good percentage of, uh, of a safety margin. But anyway, stay tuned for that uh, video in the future. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers, everyone. A little cloudy today. Not too bad. It's around mid-60s. Calm, at least no wind. And you never know, maybe it'll clear up and we might get a sunset. Cheers, folks.